What is West Nile virus? West Nile virus is a disease that is transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito. West Nile virus can infect birds, horses, humans, and many other animals. Let's find out how the virus is transmitted and what simple steps you can take to protect yourself. Certain types of female mosquitoes are able to acquire the virus by taking a blood meal from an infected bird or other animal. This blood meal allows female mosquitoes to produce their eggs. The virus travels into the digestive system of the mosquito with the blood meal and quickly escapes into the body cavity. Over time, the virus replicates within the mosquito's blood and eventually invades the insect's salivary glands. The virus is now poised to infect a new host. Some common hosts are wild birds such as crows, finches, and sparrows. Humans and horses are accidental hosts for West Nile virus. An accidental host is not capable of spreading the virus to other humans or animals. The virus is passed to other animals and humans when the female mosquito feeds again. When humans are infected with a virus, they may experience severe headache, fever, fatigue, and muscle aches. These symptoms can be so debilitating that it may require hospitalization and a lengthy recovery. In extreme cases, the illness can lead to paralysis, coma, and possibly death. Vector control agencies throughout the United States have stepped up their control, surveillance, and public education programs to help combat the threat of West Nile virus. In California, Vector control districts employ integrated mosquito management techniques that effectively reduce the mosquito population while minimizing the impact to the environment. You can help vector control districts by reporting dead birds. Dead birds can serve as an early warning system for the presence of West Nile virus activity. If you find a dead bird, call the California Department of Health Services at 877-WNV-BIRD. That's 877 877- Nine six eight two four seven three. You can also help defend yourself and your family from West Nile virus by following a few simple steps. Here are some ways you can make a difference. Maintain your swimming pool and spa. A green pool is a sure attractant for a female mosquito seeking a place to lay her eggs. Dump or drain standing water around your home. Places like bird baths, old tires, and empty flower pots are hidden mosquito nurseries. Avoid overwatering your lawn and repair broken sprinklers. Garden puddles make perfect mosquito habitat. Stock your ornamental ponds with mosquito fish and remove excess vegetation. Free mosquito fish may be provided by your local vector control agency. And don't forget, when you're outdoors between dusk and dawn, wear long sleeve shirts and pants and remember to use insect repellents. West Nile virus is an unwelcome guest that is here to stay in the United States. Only through collaboration between local communities and vector control agencies can we stop the virus from showing up on our doorsteps.